I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative, I don't wanna get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive, you know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win, I'll take a stab. I wanna chase a bag, I wanna weigh, I can change all the things I lack, I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that. Obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch I deserve this, I just wanna break these chains Always asking for greatness, true to myself, I never fake it See no many ones that are so they get famous And when I say the truth, most really can't take Hey yo, what it do YouTube, it's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10 And what I got for you today, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, and what's on the screen for you today Happens to be the best glitched 6-1 point god build with an NBA 2K22 next gen And I gotta say a big old shout out to Ozzy Cause he basically asked me to try and make a 6-1 point god build And I figured, hey, why not? And when I thought of a point god, who better than... Chris Paul, who recently just joined John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Oscar Robinson, amongst a few as leaders in assists over five plus seasons. So yeah, here's my glitched Chris Paul point guard build. Now, as most of you know, Chris Paul is the starting point guard for the Phoenix Suns, right-handed jersey number three, formerly Houston Rockets, Los Angeles Clippers, Oklahoma City Thunder, and of course, where we most know him from, the New Orleans Hornets, before the Pelicans, where he was... CP3 was just a beast, but yeah, as we said, height-wise, I will be making this build six foot one. Weight-wise, I will be keeping it at about 165 pounds because one thing I've recently noticed, I say recently, one thing I've now started to make sure I do is I get an 86 perimeter defense on these builds because you do need the ability to get in at least gold clamps. Wingspan-wise, we will keep it at the bare minimum of six feet, and body shape, we will go slight. Now, before we get into the skill breakdown, I just got to say a big old shout out to all of you for all the support you showed to the channel. As you know, we recently crossed 700, 700 subscribers, so a big old round of applause to all of you, and thank you. But I also do got to say, if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like today's video and you want to see more NBA 2K22 content like this, then do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have a comment on a specific build you want to see me make within this game, or any type of gameplay you want to see me do, then do me a favor, go ahead and drop a comment down below telling me about it. Now, getting straight into this Chris Paul build, first thing that I wanted was I wanted to mess with the physicals. I wanted to get a 91 on the speed as well as a 91 on the Excel. And then when it came to vertical, I, I really didn't mess with it, but I did decide to max out the stamina at a 99 just because when you see this build, trust me, you're going to be using it so much, you need as much stamina as you can possibly get. Now, finishing wise, I elected not to go with any form of a driving dunk. This is because anybody who's seen Chris Paul's game knows one thing about him, which is the boy, he can he has got bounce, but Chris Paul don't dunk the ball like that. Like he more often than not just lays it up. Every once in a while we see a Chris Paul dunk and every once in a while we're amazed. So I decided to go with a 95 driving layup in place because yeah, really and truly contact dunks are nice and all, but with this build you'll be able to do so much that trust me, you won't even miss them. And then when it came to the jumpers, I decided to go, I'm messing with the jumpers because this will mess with the close shot, but I decided to go with a 94, uh, sorry, an 84 on the mid-range jump shot, mainly because that was the bare minimum I needed to get gold difficult shots, which as most of you know, mid-range jump shot is where Chris Paul makes most of his bread and butter. And then I decided to go with a 99 on the three ball, just because I figured if you don't have the ability of driving to the cup, you might as well have the ability of spreading the floor, which is only possible with a 99 on the three ball, because you get Hall of Fame on everything outside of difficult shots, where the only way to get that is by maxing out your mid-range jumper. 
Now, as I do with most of the builds I've been making recently, I decided to give this thing a free throw because I figured some of you might want to take this into a wreck, into the wreck, because this might be the best top point guard build at 6'1". So I decided to give him an 86 on the free throw. Then after that, I went straight to the playmaking. Now, playmaking-wise, pass accuracy, first off, I decided to go with a 90 because this was what I needed just so I could get gold dimer. Because as I said, this is a point guard build. And as I said, the man does, <laughs> has led the league in assists for five seasons. And then when it came to ball handling, I decided to go with a 94 because, again, this was the bare minimum I needed to get Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And then a 92 on the speed of ball because, yeah, Honestly, that was what I needed to get Hall of Fame quick first step. Now, defensively, this is something I've lacked on on a few of my point guard build videos. I say a few of them, like some of them that I posted where I noticed bad people were offended. So I decided to boost it up this time where I gave him an 86 on the perimeter defense. However, when it came to the steal, I also decided to go with an 86. I'm not going to lie to you, with the short wingspan you have on this build, you might not be getting as many steals as you want, but you will be picking pockets if done right. And then the one other thing I decided to include on this build was, even though you have a short wingspan, I decided to give it a 54 block, mainly because I wanted the ability of getting Bronze Intimidator. Now in total, what we finished with is 15 finishing badges. Key thing here was I get, got the 95 Slayer for the sole purposes of, I wanted the ability of getting Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, as well as Hall of Fame Pro Touch, and Hall of Fame Teardropper, and Acrobat, which are clutch when you don't have a driving dunk. Then shooting wise, as you can see, we finished with 35 total shooting badges, with everything being Hall of Fame outside of difficult shots, which I personally believe is amazing. Then playmaking, we finished with 34 here as well, with the key ones being Hall of Fame quick chain, quick first step. Um, what else is the ankle breaker, downhill, handles for days, hyper drive, stop and go, tight handles, triple threat juke, and space creator. The only badges here that are technically gold are the passing badges. Everything else outside of that of breaking people down is Hall of Fame. Then we have 18 total defensive badges with key ones being Hall of Fame Hustler, Off-Ball Pest, Gold Clamps, Pickpocket, Interceptor, Pick Dodger, as well as Ankle Braces and Ball Stripper, which I believe you need. And then we also get a 91 Speed, 91 Excel, and a 99 Stamina. Obviously the lack of vertical, but the truth of it is, with this point, God build, you're not necessarily looking to play inside, you're mainly looking to play outside and at the mid-range, and then on the defensive side of the ball, you're not a liability because you can't pick up at the perimeter. Now, when it comes to primary takeovers with any Chris Paul build, I always love to go with something along the lines of playmaking just because, you know, he is a playmaker for the team. However, as this is the point guard Chris Paul build video, I do got to go with ankle breaking shots for the first one just because we got to do what we got to do. And then for the second one, I would go with either limitless range or pull up precision. More often than not, I'm going to go with pull up precision just because if you're doing ankle breaking shots, you might need pull up precision to help you when you come straight off the dribble moves. Now, what 2K says we have happened to build here happens to be a... Uh, two-way threat the likes of Steve Nash, Steph Curry, and Fred Van Fleet. I do see all three in Chris Paul's game. Only thing is he's close to, he's a little hybrid between Steve Nash and Steph because of how he has Steve Nash's ability of playmaking. Don't, don't get me twisted, Steph playmakes a lot, but he also has Steph Curry's slight ability of shooting, but he's not as great as Steph, but is better than Steve Nash. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's build video. Don't forget, if you did, do me a favor, go ahead and drop a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because as I said, we're trying to get 750 subs ASAP. And don't forget to drop a comment telling me what build you want to see next. Anyway, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.